YouTube, how's it going? Well, here we are, another edition of Ask TFC. It's been a long time since the last one, and perhaps the next one won't be quite nearly so long between episodes. Let's only hope so. It all depends on the input of questions and whatnot for it. So, go ahead and get right in this. I will say that as I'm recording this, my internet has, is down and has been down for uh, a big chunk of since sometime last night. It is still down right now as I record it and I have no idea when it's going to be back up. So uh, my apologies for the delay in getting this thing up, but without internet, that's not going to happen. So I'm going like to get this thing made and get it up when I can. Anyway, on with the questions. And first up, we have this one. Any pictures of you without the awesome beard? Well, come to think of it, not only is there a picture of me without the awesome beard, you can actually see video of me without the beard. The last time I shaved was on December 2nd, 2010, which happened to be the day that YouTube made me a partner. And uh, I had said the week previously in an Ask TFC, I believe it was, that uh, in response to a question, that the next time I shave would be the day YouTube makes me a partner. Exactly one week, one week later, they did so. So I made the video. And uh, I, I can say that if that's what you want to see, take a good look because that is the last time I will ever shave voluntarily. I will never do that again. I may end up having to do so for some reason or another, but I will not do it voluntarily. Only if I actually have to. And so that's going to be that. So uh, I'll put a link to that video, this video right here. I'll put a link to that in the description, and uh, you can see for yourself. Next up, we have we've uh, this question. We've seen pictures of Gizmo, your last cat. We know you have, were married, and you have a brother. Do you have any kids? And if so, how are they doing? Well, that's an easy one. I do not have any kids. So I'll say it this way. To my knowledge, I have never fathered any children nor do I expect I ever will. And that's pretty much the end of that. Next up, we have this one. How's your stop smoking coming along? Also, how much coffee do you drink a day? Okay, the stop smoking is a most frustrating effort. It is still an ongoing effort, and it's kind of on again, off again, and so on. The next episode of Beyond the Foil is about my most recent attempt to quit smoking. And that should actually be uploaded sometime in the next day or two. As for coffee, how much coffee do I drink a day? Probably more than most people. And, uh, well, I can quantify that. I have a coffee mug that holds three cups of coffee. It holds three cups of liquid, and I know this because I've gotten out a measuring cup and I've tested it to make sure, and that's exactly what it holds, is three cups. My coffee pot, it is a 12-cup coffee maker, and it's got graduations on the side of the pot that says up to 12 cups, and what I do is I fill that up to the 10-cup line with water, and I put that into the maker, and I brew the coffee and the coffee comes up to just a little bit shy of the 10 cup line on the coffee pot, on the carafe. And, you know, because a little bit gets lost to steam, you know. And so, now here's the curious part. Take that so-called 10 cups of coffee according to what's marked on the pot. And I pour that into this mug that holds three cups, an actual three cups measured. And I can only fill that mug twice. 
fill it twice and I'll have about a half a cup of liquid left in the pot that I usually throw out because it's the bottom, it's the dregs, you know, the no good part. And it just kind of makes me wonder, how does 10 cups just barely fill a 3 cup mug twice? You know, that's just like six and a quarter cups or so if you actually measure it out. Kind of makes you wonder. But as for how much coffee, during the summer month, warm weather, I will have at least one pot a day by what I've just explained. And uh, sometimes two. In cold weather, usually two, frequently three pots a day. I likes me coffee. Next up, we have this one. If you could have your choice of living anywhere, yeah, Mars too, where would you choose and why? Oh boy, this is a wide open one here. There are so many awesome possibilities, it isn't funny. Like, for example, any of probably thousands or even tens of thousands of locations, epic scenery kind of locations, along the rim of or in the, the uh, base of, inside, the Grand Canyon, for example. Just one epic example. One string of thousands of epic examples, actually. That's one possibility. Um, another one, the may sound a little unconventional, but the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum. What can I say? Uh, the uh, Cape Canaveral Kennedy Launch Complex, say about a mile or two from Pack 39B. <laughs> or how about this, on top of the Vehicle Assembly Building at the Kennedy Space Center. That would be interesting. Uh, and then there's things like a base on the moon or on Mars or perhaps Titan where you have Saturn in the sky kind of edge on. That would be interesting. And, or perhaps one of the more epic possible things would be as captain of a starship, aboard a starship. How about that? Not very many of these are very likely but that's the best I can give for an answer. I couldn't begin to narrow it down to just one choice. There just is no way to do that. Next up, we have this question. Have you managed to get your lawnmower fixed from last summer? Are you going to do some more outdoor vlogging since the weather, temps at least, has been so nice? Well, uh, well, the temperatures are finally starting to get back to something reasonable. And, uh, yeah, I will almost certainly be doing more outside vlogging, uh, carport, uh, back deck, or something like that. We'll see how that goes. And uh, a lot of that's going to depend on the rain and whatnot, and at what time of day I actually manage to drag myself into doing the vlog, because for some reason I've got this last-minute-itis thing where I end up doing stuff that... 10.30, 11 o'clock at night, and racing against the clock to get it up before midnight because I want it to be for that day. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure why it works that way, but it frequently does. But when I manage to actually get myself in gear and be inspired enough to have something to talk about besides blah, 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 yeah, yeah, nice day, yeah, da, and so on, besides doing something like that, uh, yeah, I will be doing more outdoor vlogs when I can. As for the lawnmower, okay, first up, about my lawnmower. The lawnmower ceased operation actually not last summer, but about two and a half to almost three years ago. And it stopped running after, like, 11 years. I mean, I bought the thing new in 2001. And by after about 11, almost 12 years of operation, it died. And the way it died was the engine seized up. It will never run again. And uh, the device that uh, I was using up to, from then up to last summer, 
early last summer was a weed eater and last summer its engine finally seized up it will never run again so those things are never going to be used again they are junk and one of the things I'm going to be trying to save up for is to buy at least a new weed eater, preferably a new lawnmower. And all I can say is there's a voice in the back of my head that says, lots of luck with that. Because it is necessary, but it's not very likely to actually happen. At least not without some major positive changes. Next up, we got this question. Do you ever get fast food? Well, once in a great while. And by once in a great while, I mean... I frequently go a month to two months or even three months without doing that. Because, A, it's expensive. B, the food you get at fast food places is not good for you at all. I mean, when you could go into, for example, you go into a McDonald's and you buy one sandwich, and that one individual sandwich has almost 700 calories, and God only knows how much fats and other crap in it, that, that's, that's ridiculous. I mean, you take a person that is doing a 1,500 to 2,000 calorie a day diet, that one sandwich represents about a meal and a half all by itself. And that doesn't count fries or a drink or anything else you might have with that sandwich. So it's not good for you at all. It's junk. It's crap. It's garbage. Regardless of how good it may taste and how much we may enjoy it, it's crap. And uh, so that's one reason why I very rarely do it. And uh, another is, of course, the cost involved. Now, I will admit that last week, uh, earlier this week, I did actually have a Big Mac for the first time in quite a long time. But it's not something I do very often. In the last 20 years, I've probably had two dozen Big Macs spread out over the last 20 years. It's not a very common thing at all. Uh, I could say similar for things like pizza. Now, I've had that more often than I have Big Macs. And in one respect, pizza is, you can argue that you say it's good for you because it's got lots of meats and cheeses and vegetables and stuff on it. Of course, there's also so much on it that one slice counts as a whole meal in terms of calories and fats and all this other stuff. So it, it depends. Pizza, I might have four or five, maybe six of them in a year spread out. So, yeah, I, I've learned to ignore fast food. It's just like uh, the pastries and the sweets and stuff in the store when I go shopping. I've got to, you know, I used to be, I couldn't go to the store without getting something like that. Usually a lot too much of it. And almost any is too much, but a lot too much. And these days, I go to the store, I walk right past that stuff, and not even look at it twice. <laughs> how my how things change. All right, there we are. Uh, the long-awaited episode of Ask TFC. I will note that if your question was not answered in this episode, and uh, some of them certainly weren't because I could not get to the farm screen questions because the internet is down right now or at least my internet is down and so I'm unable to get to those and I know I didn't get to all the ones that were here for this episode and so if your question was not answered in this episode be sure to check out the next episode of Journey to the Firelands where that may well happen because Questions submitted are good for Ask TFC and Journey to the Farlands. And uh, the next Journey to the Farlands should be up within the week. So, 
that's it for this episode. Here's looking at you. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here. Mr. Temple Show.